victim is frustrated over the way a career criminal can manipulate the legal system even while he's sitting in jail. Good evening, everyone. Even though Richard Freeman went to jail in April, he's yet to come to trial for even one day on an impressive set of charges. Freeman has a taste for breaking into candy stores for some reason. He's done it for years, and investigators say he does it whenever he's not locked up. Local 12 Rich Jaffe first introduced us to this jailhouse lawyer in the spring. So, Rich, how does this man stay out of court? Well, Rob, Freeman's not just a career burglar and criminal. Apparently, he is also a master manipulator of the justice system. This is a guy who has nothing better to do than play the game, even behind bars. The pile of case files and charges against Richard Freeman is impressive. The 66-year-old career burglar is currently in the Hamilton County Jail facing 20 charges, most of which are for breaking and entering and burglary. In jail since April, Freeman, who's representing himself in court, was expected in front of Judge Melba Marsh on a motion to suppress some of the evidence against him. But the case got continued for the third time. Kerry Cravens is one of his victims. It's a waste of money. I mean, that's, I, I go back to that. It's expense again. I mean, how many people were in there? And it just gets continued and continued. And he knows the system. And that's the frustrating part. And I can't see why a career criminal can't just go to trial like a normal person why all these motions are filed. Surveillance video shows Freeman robbing two of Craven's Supreme Nut and Candy stores, and he's suspected of robbing a third. Freeman's been to prison multiple times for similar crimes, and he's currently charged with a string of other break-ins, including four in one day. Investigators say when he's not in prison, Richard Freeman is breaking into businesses. Early Wednesday, for a couple of hours, there was even talk of a plea deal that centered around a two-year prison sentence for the entire stack of crimes. The deal apparently evolved because Freeman threatened to have each of his cases tried separately, a huge county expense, but no one was willing to buy his deal. The prosecutor's the one who stopped it. She said there was absolutely no way that he could do this little bit of time for what he's done to the community, to businesses, and to the general public. I mean, he's a career criminal and he belongs behind bars. Now, to throw perhaps an even more bizarre twist into this whole thing, Freeman's apparently hinting that he may have a twin brother who is also out on, guess what, burglary charges. And oh, by the way, maybe, just maybe, that's not him in the surveillance video. Maybe it's this twin brother. I mean, this guy just goes on and on and on. And this thing gets continued yet again today. Yep, that's exactly right. So where do we go from here? Well, now there is yet another continuance date of October 20th, and that again is this motion to suppress, but it also could end up being another plea deal if they can agree to something. It could end up with all being wrapped up at that point, or it could go on and on. Yeah, so this guy figures he's going to do the time. Would he rather do this time in jail here than real hardcore prison? Absolutely. Is that really what it boils down he's to? He's been to prison before. He knows what that's like. Yeah. He's sitting in jail in Hamilton County right yeah. now. He's got everything he needs right in there, and he keeps just playing the game. Yeah. Rich, thanks very much.